and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Esper Kaya combo. That's right, it's Tuesday, Brews Day, so we're bringing out some fun brews today, which I guess doesn't really make it different from other days, but it's fun to say and it's fun to have them. So this deck is built around Kaya Orzov Usurper. I guess that's how you would say that. Um, this is It's really about Kaya's minus five ability. So the minus five deals damage to target's player equal to the number of cards that player owns in exile. So we want to get a lot of cards in our opponent's exile. You know, we want to get like 20 cards in our opponent's exile. So whenever we minus five this Kaya, it does 20 damage to them. And that's that's uh, what we're trying to do. Okay, so to get the cards in the graveyard, we're using, or sorry, to get the cards in exile, we're using Ashiok. Because Ashiok mills over four cards and then exiles the graveyard. So, you know, like we can get, we can uh, slowly get some cards like if whatever they have in the graveyard, those get go to exile, and then of course the top four cards of the library as well. So you know, we're playing just kind of like an Esper control deck, trying to stay alive, use Ashiok, get stuff in the graveyard, uh, or sorry, get stuff in exile, and then ultimate Kaya. So the the way that we do that, because usually you'd have to just like um, play Kaya for at and it has three loyalty, you tick up it has four, you tick up it has five, and then you can minus five. That's a little slow. So our combo here is is Elder Spell uh, that can put two loyalty counters immediately on Kaya. So if we have any Planeswalker, or if our opponent has any Planeswalker in play, such as like if we have an Ashiok that's ticking down and it's about to go away anyway, we can drop Kaya, Elder Spell away our own Ashiok, put Kaya up to five, and then immediately minus five. Uh, that, so that's kind of our, our combo there. That's what we're trying to accomplish. Um, to to pair that, we you know we have just of course a, a whole lot of removal, uh, discard, things of that nature. But we are also to in order to find our different combo pieces, we have Wishclaw Talismans. So we can um, use Wishclaw Talisman to be able to search for Ashiok, for example, first to start uh, exiling cards from the top of their library. Um, a, a lot of times, I think we'll probably be uh, just going and getting Teferi, because Teferi is just a very good card. We can go grab Teferi first and then have Teferi minus three and put the Talisman back into our hand. That's probably going to be what we'll be doing a lot. But also, if we just have Ashiok in play, Ashiok's um, passive ability says spells and abilities your opponent's control can't cause their controller to search their library. So they cannot search their library with Talisman. Um, so even though we give the Talisman to our opponent, if we have Ashiok in play, they can't actually activate it. Well, they can activate it, they just don't get to search their library, then it goes back to us. So Ashiok does a good job of shutting that down also. And then of course, the, you know, like if we stabilize, we get to the late game, we use Talisman to go grab our Kaya, go grab our Elder Spell, um, you know, like whatever we need to get this Kaya combo going. Um, so yeah, that's 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 basically what our deck's all about. And our set, of course, also helps uh, kind of dig for things. Um, sometimes, like maybe maybe we'll just kind of like be ahead, and you know have like Ashiok and Kaya just in play, kind of going. And we, you can use like Wishclaw Talisman to go grab a counter spell, like a Dovin's Veto or a Sinister Sabotage. If we're already ahead in our opponents, like in top deck mode, we can just automatically just go grab a counter spell and make sure that even if they top deck something good, we have the answer to it. Um, so we can we can uh, close out games that way also. Cyborg obviously has a whole lot of interaction depending on what our opponent's doing. I got the fourth Ashiok in there for slower control decks to where we can also um, just attack their library and be a pseudo mill deck also after Cyborg, and then a couple of Mordigos where if it's very good against our opponent with a, a slow deck that only has a couple of win cons, we can use that, and we can also wish Claw Talisman and, and go find Unmoored Ego if it's that crippling. Um, but yeah, that's our deck. So let's see how it goes. So we're going to be playing in a league here. What we do with our Tuesday Brews Day decks. Let's see if we can get five wins before we get two losses. And let's play some Magic. Hey, you're doing good. Good afternoon there, Frank. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Um, up next, I got a Davriel discard deck, mono black discard. I thought about calling it just Davriel discard, 
but went with mono black discard instead. And then a couple of decks that we've played before. I'm going to try the Abzan Wolves that we made yesterday for best of one. We're going to try that in best of three. And Mardu and Chamas that we played last Saturday that I just really enjoyed. That if we have time, the first three decks are kind of slower and the format's slower. So I'm not sure if we'll have time for a fourth deck. But if we have time for a fourth deck, we'll, we'll play some Mardu Enchantments. Temple's, Temple of Silence is the best card to lead on. But we also don't really know what our opponent's doing. So it's really hard to play Temple turn one when you don't know what your opponent's doing when you're playing a such a reactive heavy deck like what we have. Because, you know, you could see, like, Kaya's Wrath, and you're like, oh, that's that's probably good. I'll need a Kaya's Wrath. And then your opponent just doesn't have any creatures. So it is kind of good to be on the draw with turn one Temple. Because then we at least can see our opponent's land drop. Yeah, all the decks are, are there on the Stream Decker page there. <laughs> Glue Gigs says, anyone else gets so used to watching Ton on YouTube try to pause the live stream? <laughs> Uh, Dying in the middle of five. Oh, I, I guess I am on the play. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I guess I, I guess I still play this. Okay, well, thankfully Teferi's just great against everything, so that's a, that's a good card to see. <laughs> uh, all right, we're playing. We're playing Esper Dance. Let's start digging. Well, you can't. What do you mean you can't? Of course, you can respond to Witch's Oven. But the sacrificing a creature is part of the cost. Like that's just that's just how those cards are always designed. Like so you can't you can't respond to something being sacrificed. Hmm. Cuz that's part of the cost. That's like saying, you know, you can't you can't stop the fabled passage from being sacrificed. It's part of the cost. Sorry, I'm late. I'll protect you. I train as meditate and prepare. Really hope they don't have Othakaya to kill my Narset. It's honestly possible that I shouldn't be minusing, but when we have a card like Ashiok, that's just so good. Hone your prowess. I already had another Elder Spell. I guess I probably should just grab the Narset. Yeah, I should just grab the, the Narset. Alright, that was bad. I forgot about this other Elder Spell way over here. Um... Trust me. You'll thank me later. That's more like it. All right, so that, that land lets me play Talisman, activate Talisman, go grab Ashiok, 
and play Ashiok this next turn. Don't worry, I got this. Hey, Rex. No, they did find Othakaya. I won't forget our time together. Boo. Well, there goes two other Teferis. I really wish I would have grabbed that Narset instead of this Elder Spell. That was a mistake. Okay. No, you no, you cannot. Yeah, if if both players have Teferi, like, whenever there's a Teferi in play on the opponent side, you can't play spells except for sorcery speed. So if there's two Teferis in play, like we each have a Teferi like that, then then only I can play sorcery speed and only my opponent can cast sorcery speed. So there's no instance at all. Um, oh no, let's get to Sparks in here. Exile Doom Foretold. No, I don't think I'm going to play any captive audience. It just costs, at 7 mana, it's just too much. Um... I don't know, I guess I'll think about it. That is a card that a lot of people like to, to see. This is tough. This isn't a fight you can win. Trust me, I have a plan. What a loaded hand. Hmm. Here we go. Um, yeah, no, I talked about Leyline of the Void earlier, um, but it's it's not a card that I think is very good. Basically, it it doesn't. It's not hardly ever actually worth a card.
Let's try this. Good, Matthew. Well, yeah, best of luck with your next interview tomorrow. All right, Apta. Thanks for stopping by. Stand by and watch. This might be a bad idea. done the hero thing before hmm okay well, thanks Willie yeah thanks thanks for stopping by here on twitch Um I am your greatest fear. Your fight. I don't know. I don't know. I'm always return. So yeah, so they're they're going to be able to bounce Othakaya and replay that. Oh, they could just bounce re they could just bounce the guild globe also. Please crack that. Thank you. <laughs> Ashiox passive. Hey Carlos. No, I yeah, I I, I do like our matchup. We're just kinda my opponent had a very good hand, and so we're just kinda trying to navigate this. But yes, I, I do think that we have a favorable matchup what but the the wish claw talisman so much better it's like my only good card here Oh, that's a killer. Oh, that's a killer. Wow, what a killer. All right, so yeah, I'm just going to close out Deckmaster since it's just not working. Ugh, I just need one turn and I have Sabotage. I guess I wasn't going to have Sabotage the next turn. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, never mind. What? Yeah, I forgot about Teferi. I was going to have to kill that thing anyway. Hmm. I was planning on, on getting my Othakaya to kill that thing, but... Ugh, that hurts. Okay, let's see. I'll figure it out. Yeah, I, I did... I did 
I didn't really think about them there to fairy, honestly. I didn't really think of that. But obviously that elder spell was pretty rough. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Hmm. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Um, questions, do you think the band of Summer's Veil, vale, or was it Veil vale of Summer in Pioneer would mean anything for standard? And possibly, I mean, I think that it's, it's it can only improve the chances that it gets banned in standard. It can't really make it a lower chance that it gets banned that it would get banned. So yeah, it only have to <clears throat> I that's I you know I'm not saying that it will or that it should or anything like that. I'm just saying that it couldn't do anything but improve its chances to be banned. Kind of giving it precedence. Yeah, in six days is the new BNR announcement on Monday. I've already gone through three Teferis as far as bounce as far as getting Wishclaw Talisman back is concerned. I require servants. Your court. Stop! Draw on these elders' bells. I could ego dance, but dance isn't that valuable. Right right now they could draw two cards with dance. That's just not that valuable. I'll protect you. All right, Esper Kaya combo. Starting off with a win.
Ooh, looks like we leveled up. We got some stuff. We got a pack. They got 20 gems. And we got some mastery stuff. We got two mastery orbs. So we get the Great Henge. That's a good one there. And now we're going to start with red and work towards these before going to white. I think. Out of Worthy Knight is probably the one I want the most out of anything here. But Worthy Knight's like a long ways away. And like these other white ones are ones that I don't really want. Or, you know, I want less for sure. Hmm. Because I want this for the Orzhov Troll Knight deck. But I use probably use these red cards more. So unfortunately, out of, out of all the, the ones left, the one I want the most is going to be the one that I get second to last. That's just how it is. All right, want to know. Hopefully we keep playing against Esper Dance all day. That is... That's a pretty good matchup for us. So we have the ability to, to grab a plains or a swamp with this fabled passage. Because we have two black and two white towards Kai's Wrath. Our mana is very good. Yeah, I think this is a competitive deck, Escoria. Yeah, like this deck's just fine. Yeah, I wouldn't call this a jank deck. Beast, beast, wolf. All right, one beast down. That's a good one. I need one more land for Lily, but we'll probably find another land somewhere. If I play Ashiok, then Ashiok just takes four from the Questing Beast, so it's, it's not great just to play the Ashiok. He said we would probably get another land somewhere. All right, time to start filling up their exile pile. That's some good cards. All right, they got six cards over here now. We need 14 more. I thought about putting Brazen Borrower in here to, to bounce Wishclaw Talisman also, but didn't really find room for it. I right, got rid of a third questing beast. Hey, Storm, good evening. I aspire for more. <laughs> yeah, just Noxious Grass was just a really good main deck card for everything. So I could fetch, but I mean, it's not like I really am thinning the deck that much. I'm putting like a temple back. My army will envelop this world. In case of, I want to play Liliana first in case of counterspell, because then like if they countered it, then the counter would go to the graveyard, and then I would minus. Behold. That's not a good Ashiok. The last two minuses haven't been so good. Uh, basically, just getting rid of one questing beast, four lands, two goose, and a paradise druid. Besides the questing beast, I want them to draw all those cards.
Unfortunately, Voracious Hydra costs two mana. They were a lousy servant anyway. From battle to the grave. <laughs> Good riddance to well done. Look to see me no more. Yeah, unfortunately, we're exiling all all their one drops, which is what Kaya can exile. All right, but they got 20 in the exile pile now. Including three geese. All right. <laughs> so let's go uh, grasp. And Dispark, they're playing, you know, Nyssa, Wolf, Beast. Um, Legion's End is pretty good. Like, we saw both Hydras. I don't think it's, like, third card good. I think I'm just going to keep the two. Uh... We have to get rid of two more cards. I don't really know what to get rid of. I'll get I'll trim one wish claw, I suppose. I mean, this kind of matchup, Ashiok is really only helping whenever we're ahead. You know, like if we're behind, Ashiok's not gonna be doing anything. And we probably want all of our cards to be good even when we're behind. That would turn us into like a normal Esper deck. Yeah, I mean the el the elder spells help me combo and kill them with Kaya also, but that is a little much. Let me get rid of a sabotage. The veto, and this leaves me with sixty. All right, let's try this. Yeah, counters. Yeah, why? Why are we playing a sabotage? Because counter spells are good. I didn't really have room for more, but the first one, the first one's very valuable. When you when you're playing a card like Wishclaw Talisman that can go grab any card from your deck, having a sinister sabotage if you're ahead. You know, like if we would have drawn like a Wishclaw Talisman at that point, for example, that would have been a great spot to be able to go just. Just go put Sinister Sabotage in our hand to make sure that my opponent couldn't, you know, top deck something that was going that was going to be devastating. Hey Zoltan. Yep, it's yeah, it's like Ashiok and Kaya combo. I'm known for my excellent timing. Looks like they have Veil of Summer. That's more like it. Please. Maybe not, though. So Nyssa or Questing Beast would kill Teferi. Hopefully they don't have either. If they don't have either, we're looking pretty good. But it's, it's pretty likely they have one of the two. Pretty likely they had one of the two. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Hmm.
I'm gonna keep the spark for Wicked Wolf and use the grasp here. Really use a land. It'd be really nice to draw a land. Not a land. Hey, Radical Guru, good evening. That was a good draw. Speaking of making... Making life easier. Shock and go to three is kind of rough. It's pretty risky. If I if I shock and go to three and they have a Nissa, I die. Like even with you know holding Dispark up, if they have a Nissa, I die. Let's slow this down. Here we go. So in case this is like Vale of Summer or something. Or, you know, Brazen Borrower. Uh, I was. Might be a bad idea. Let's me keep Murder Thrider available. Right. A bunch of spells. Spell, 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 spell. Wow, that was good. I'll return. With Lord, you haven't seen the last of me. I mean if I if I try to minus three the food token, they could just sacrifice the food token, then I don't draw a card. We just hit Oko Oko Vivian. Yep. Yeah, bounce, bouncing a food token when they have mana available is not a good idea. And also, I just don't really care about the food token. Right now. This just slows them down, makes them like waste their next turn on Borrower again. Hey, what's up, Blade? What are you bouncing? Ashiok? Alright. So I, I have to play this so that if it's a Nissa draw and I have a blocker so I don't die. And also I have to keep the spark up because if it's a questing beast, I would die. So like that's that's my way to not die to Nissa or don't Questing worry. Beast. I got this. Alright, higher life total. I should probably be playing the Narset here. It's probably more valuable. I don't know. Ashiok's fun. Ah, uh, they're gonna draw a land. Well, 
we're in the traditional constructed league where you pay a thousand gold and win gold and pa or and rares gold and rares based on how many wins you have Open mind. Yeah, we're playing best of three. I'll return where you slumber. You can tell down here. So we won game one. Let's try this. We have this little glowy dot here. Correct, yeah. So yes, I can use the wish claw to go grab something and then bounce it back to my hand with Teferi. Also, with Ashiok, they can't search their library anyway if I just have Ashiok and play with the Wishclaw Talisman. I have just the trick for this. I already used my Elder Spell. I don't have a Counter Spell. This, this would be a great time just to put a Counter Spell into my hand. I don't have a Counter Spell. Um, I'm at 9. Shock. I faced undead horrors. This I'm really good at banishing things. Behold. This is I my Those look like good cards. Remember your nightmares remain. I've got it. What did I just get? Yeah, Krasis, Oko, Nissa, Vivian. Those good cards. Sure. I'll take that back. Thank you. Now I don't have to spend the mana to replay it. Do I just sacrifice it whenever it has zero counters? No, you just remove a counter from it. Good. So I can, I can wish again and still bounce it back. Okay, our deck's looking pretty sweet. It, it helped that for the last like, six turns of that game, my opponent drew nothing. At least they, they didn't play anything. They must have just been drawing like Veil of Summers and Negates and things like that that they couldn't play with Teferi and play. I think we're probably pretty good against Fires of Invention with Ashiox removing their library and making... Like, uh, you know, removing threats and stuff. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I don't like the... I mean, our deck's built around it, but I just... I don't like the design of Planeswalkers having passive abilities. I think that was a, a mistake of a design. Okay. Turn two Thought Erasure fixes all. We had Temple to Scry for a spell, and then Thought Erasure to Surveil for a spell. Yeah, 
Yeah, they really need to give Oko a passive ability, I agree. All these other three mana planeswalkers have passives. Oko should. Alright, looks like we got a long control matchup here. My opponent has Castle Ardenvale and Castle Vantress, so they are ahead with having I know double castle. No, I am not making this up as I go. So they're looking pretty good right now. If you show remorse, I'll show you. Trust me. I However, our deck has a lot of good cards against other control decks. Ugh. Only now they're looking even better. Yeah. Elks you control have plus three plus three. Let's try this. Um fetch. Get a land out of the deck first and shuffle before we start surveilling. No idea why they just cast that Chemistry's Insight right then when I'm a discard deck. That didn't make any sense. Soul Mender? Is there a different soul card that they meant to put in their deck and actually accidentally put in the wrong card? Reef Soul? No, that's... What are you doing? Oh, I guess I, I have Legion's End for it. I'm, I was so confused. But anyway, I didn't want them just to play the 1-1 one, one and then start attacking Ashiok with a 1-1, one, one, I guess. But I, maybe I should save Legion's End for this. I don't know. I thought I could play around Quench pretty easily. <laughs> My opponent had a bad time against Mono Red. So they want the Soul Mender to fix it. What? That had to have been a mistake, right? Oh man, that's some fire. That's a great draw right there. Sh shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Come on, crack that Here Fable Passage. Go. Wow, that, that Gadwick was just perfect. This might be a bad idea. You strike out of fear. Sure. Mm. We got rid of mass manipulation. At least even those three other lands as well. I, I, I don't really... I don't really mind that my Narset got countered by two of those. That's more like it. And the the Narset was very vulnerable with this Gadwick here anyway.
Because it's it's likely that those two counter spells were going to be countering something anyway when combining it. It's likely that I was going to spend less than four mana on something throughout the game. So it's, it's really not that big a deal. The thing is, I, I did have... All these lands in a row that I guess I wouldn't have drawn these necessarily drawn these lands in a row. Hey, feller, we have my opponent having these castles as I talked about at the very beginning of the, of the match. It's a big deal. <laughs> like how they're at twenty one and they're still just willing to just gain a life with soul mender instead of attacking for one oh, I've done the hero thing before like their life total matters like I don't I don't know why they're not bouncing Gadwick and replaying Gadwick and drawing a bunch of cards and also bouncing and also drawing a card off the to fairy bounce like I I don't know I guess because they want to hold up time wipe. Up as I, go. I play Kaya and it's good game. What? I mean, it, I draw Kaya and it's good game. Why? All right, anyway, um, let's get duress, vetoes, take out these. Okay, so that's 64. I think we just take out these noxious grasps. So I have Rider and Elder Spell that can kill Teferi. I think that's good enough. There. All right, this will be tough. Um, Millie Gad... Like, the Azorius, Azorius deck is, is very good in the control matchup. We need to stick a Teferi... Because they are all about counter spells. So I can't get rid of Teferi, but I also need an untapped land here. Um, yeah, for a donation deck, all you have to, you just have to down below. There's a link to donate and just put a copy of your deck list there. Brazen borrower. This is a really good hand. I guess they don't have white mana. Makes the hand less good. Never mind. Okay, on mobile, click on over to the... No, you have to put it, you have to put a link to the deck. You can't just copy paste the, the donation message doesn't have that much. So you have to put it like a link to your deck. Um, that's where, like, something like MTG Goldfish. Ab Absorb is blue, blue, white.
Let's slow this down. I'll protect you. I know my responsibility. Don't worry, I got this. All right, Funder One, hopefully that helps out. Yeah, you have to just put a get a link to your deck list. I've got it. We'll get rid of that inside in the graveyard. Alright, got rid of another manipulation. That's good. That was just a good mill over in general. Four cards. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Only time will tell. Alright, Agent of Treachery gone. So obviously they're going to have a counter spell for the Teferi. That's why they bounced it and kept the mana open. I'd rather them counter Unmoored Ego than counter Teferi. Trust me. I wasn't... You'll thank me later. Yeah. If Unmoored Ego would have resolved, I would have named Gadwick. But I wasn't um, tied to it or anything. I just want to get this activation in case something happens. Behold, I'll return where you slumber. It's mm. unfortunate. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's fortunate because they have nothing in hand. So it's... I shouldn't really say that's unfortunate. That's not exactly accurate. This isn't a fight you can win. Here we go. Oh, put that on the bottom. They have a Teferi. I guess I'm going to have to use this on Teferi now instead of using it on Brazen Borrower. I should put that on the bottom. Don't worry. I got this. Okay. Never mind. That's good. Wait, is it good?
I should have put this on the bottom though, the V2. That was a that was a mistake. Huh. Just letting me have it. I'll show restraint. should have seen that coming so they're gonna yes oh uh, that's good for me uh they put them both on the bottom anyway i was hoping they're gonna put stuff on top trust me i have a they did that before i ashiocked a divine visitation i was not prepared That just lets me reset my loyalty counters. I have this Teferi in play. I probably need to bounce the Borrower, though. Huh. I guess not. I'll just, I'll just take another random card before I scry. It's a good random card. Oh my gosh, they really need to work on this crying. Yeah, Castle Art and Veil with Visitation. Um, probably like they probably have Finale Glory. That'd be another guess. Um, nah, don't need that. I leave you with Is that a second manipulation? So they have two manipulations. Got like three brazen borrower that we've seen so far. Two manipulations, a Gadwick. Probably have more than that one Gadwick. An agent of treachery. The the more the longer my opponent doesn't concede, the better for me, and the more I get to see cards. Consider I'm playing on more Deco, so I mean better. You I such violence. I lost my appetite. I'll protect you. Whole bunch of mystical disputes, which is pretty rough. Three quench. Three dispute, three quench. Yeah, a bunch of Dovin's vetoes. They get so much counter magic. Awesome, Minnesota. Glad you're enjoying the Black White Aristocrats from yesterday. Cool. Yeah, Visitation doesn't really seem too useful. Fortunately, Teferi, Gadwick, Brazen Barber, none of those things get disparked or Legion's End. <laughs> you know, like this is two or less, four or more. Three is like the, the one slot that we have a weakness, and all those things cost three. Um. Obviously, we could Noxious Grasp to Fairy, but it doesn't do anything against anything else. Hey, give me Xan. Thank you so much for that resub. Four months now. You are awesome. Give me Xan. Thank you so much. All right, second sub of the day. I'm going to play Noxious Grasp instead of Kaya. I know we're a Kaya combo deck.
But I think us winning is basically just going to be milling them out with Ashiok. I don't think Kaya matters too much. Even though I can get surprise wins with it. I think being able to kill three mana to fairies valuable. Even though that's all it does. <laughs> Nothing special about this hand, but you know, we can hit some land drops. See what's up. Opponent's on a six card hand. Probably chilling with some mystical disputes over there. Will this have been better as Kaya in this hand? Unclear. I have way too much Planeswalker removal in my hand. They missed the land drop, so they they desperately want me to play things because they have to they have to get rid of cards in hand. So I want to. So that means I want to not play things. Um. That's tough. I would rather, I'd kind of rather have a land drop. In this scenario, I want to just hit land drop so that they have to go to discard. Oh, they have that. Huh. So I normally say Teferi, but I have four removal spells for Teferi in my hand. Um, so I could say Gadwick. But it's not like Gadwick's that good right now. I could say Brazen Borrower. Honestly, Brazen Borrower would be a huge annoying card. Um, otherwise, just honestly, just play, just saying counter spells, just getting like their Dovin Vetoes out of their deck. Mystical Disputes. Something like that. Yeah, Brazen Bar would just be pretty annoying. They just cut their Brazen Borrowers? Are you kidding me? Right. Two Agent of Treacheries, two Manipulation, two Ugin. Huh. They had three of them last game. They just took them out? Huh. Yeah, that's a plot twist right there. Alright, well, their cards all do stuff. Mine don't. This is not spectacular. I don't have any removal for Spyglass, do I? Oh, I have Teferi. Teferi can bounce by glass. Cat 
Castle Arden Vale is amazing. The focused and disciplined encounter no meditate and prepare. So they have to go to discard because they put a bunch of cards in their hand. I feel like Kaya would have been better than these Noxious Grass. I feel like putting these two Noxious Grass. So I would have had Kaya. Kaya would... I don't know. Kaya would be at least doing something. Wouldn't be doing a whole lot, but we would be doing something. Could just exile the tokens that they make. So bad, bad sideboarding there for game three. It looks like it's probably going to cost me. These two Noxious Grass are... I knew they were going to be my two worst cards in my deck, but they're even worse than that. Looks like we're picking up our first loss here. I have castles in my deck, right? Yeah, I have one of each castle. Why can't I get a castle? I know more than you could learn in a thousand lifetimes. Sure. I will beyond Harry, hey, real dare, uh, real Dara. Welcome from Brazil. Hey, what's up, Yud? Welcome. We were we were doing pretty good until deciding to not do good. That was a bad decision. My best draw is probably Narset. This is hardly my worst defeat. Thanks, Byrox. And yeah, welcome everybody from Brazil. Some bad sideboarding there. But then also. Only having Elder Spells and Noxious Grasps and nothing else. Not very good. <laughs> yep, my opponent 
Wanted all my stuff. All right, two and one. If I would have named Sorcerer Spyglass instead of Brazen Borrower, that could have been different. They did have the Prison Realm, but I had the second Ashiok the whole time. So just guy means likely fires. Maybe not. A lot of fire, like the the fire's creature deck plays Bone Crusher Giant. So I think my plan here is to play Ashiok. Could play Narset, keep them from drawing cards, but let's get this thing in play. Welcome to my, yes. my... Darn, three lands. Sometimes you have some really good Ashiok hits, sometimes you don't. Hey Flavia, GG's. Yeah, Thunderwonk, you sure can. Alright, well that's a pretty terrible turn for me. They do have fires, which I can't really answer, and Prison Realm. I don't have much, if any, I really don't have Artifact and Enchantment removal in here, which is uh, killing me here last match and this one now. I don't know what I'm going to do about the Chandra right now. Unfortunately, can't cast Thought Erasure even if we find it. <laughs> There's Thought Erasure. I wish Kaya could grab, like, Fae of Wishes from Exile and, I don't know, Exile it more. Okay. Before action. Uh, really wish I could Kaya's Wrath and Thought Erasure.
oh yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of options that we could be playing to to have answers for artifacts and enchantments and stuff. That's a perfect draw. So yeah, I went with the riskier line of blocking there. That was a riskier line than just get, than just Kaya's wrath, but we got rid of the Chandra with that line. So I do have Disparks that can get rid of Fires of Invention. I'm not sure if I actually want Ego in this matchup. With them playing the creature version, I do need to have more creature removal. Oh yeah, we're playing Witchclaw Talisman. I forgot about that. We haven't seen that card in forever. Yeah, my draws last match were really not very good. Looking at like like the game three, like looking at the, all the cards we have in our our deck, really did not draw well. I there's there's no wait on donation decks. You can just just tell me whatever day and what time slot you want me to play your deck, and you're good to go. I don't have any donation decks in the queue besides just some brawl stuff for tomorrow. With it being Wednesday brawl day. So I don't think I want to go overboard on the Elder Spells. Yeah, Black Wolf says, I'm not good at deck building. Is there a way for someone else to look at my cards and build a deck for me? I don't I don't know of anything like that, honestly. I don't know. What I would kind of recommend doing is looking at you know other deck lists. And everything, and kind of looking at your collection, and like kind of building towards something. You know, find like whatever, whatever you know looks interesting to you. Whatever. Um, whatever looks enjoyable. This is a really tough hand for me. So they just have three lands. That's all they need. I even just can I even beat multiple bone crusher giants? Major Dad watched the Mandalorian TV show, enjoyed it even watching it a second time was fun. Awesome. I, I still I don't I don't understand what this what the Mandalorian show is. I think you, you told me before, but it didn't really register. I don't I don't know what that is.
Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, it's a bounty hunter like Boba Fett. Okay. Yeah, okay, so it's a Star Wars thing. That's that's right. Okay. Yeah, I've I've never watched any of the Star Wars. That's never I never got into never got into that. Kitty Dexterity gifting out to two or three subs. Thank you so much. Welcome to our new subs on the channel. Are you kidding? There's no Cavalier of Gales? Man, these Onward Egos, I'm just... I'm 0 for 2 now. <laughs> Should've just said Spyglass again. This thing's not moving very good. Alright, so... 1 6 mana Chandra, 2 Kenrith. All the Teferis. How many Cavalier of Flames? Looks like two. A Realm Cloak Giant. A couple Spyglass. Well, right now, I don't really care that much about... I don't really care that much about Fires of Invention with me having it to spark and them not having other cards. Like, so Fires of Invention really isn't that big of a deal. I'm known for my excellent timing. I've got time. Um, and then Fae of Wishes, they've already, we've already gotten rid of two Fae of Wishes, so there's only two Fae of Wishes left. And so then, like, the Cavaliers, I, I thought they would just have, like, the, you know, we, I got rid of one Cavalier, and I have, like, a Kaya's Wrath for other. But, and so I thought they had the other Cavalier as well. Not going to sit this one out. Why Gale's over Flame? Because I already got rid of one Flame. I thought they would have both of them. And just a, a numbers game. We already get rid of one. We already get rid of one flame. That's more like it. They kept Clarion in. I've got it. This might be a bad idea. Well, I have one card in my deck that Clarion does anything against. And it's down at the bottom of my library now. <laughs> uh, should have named Spyglass both times. I play an Unmoored Ego, I whiff, and then Spyglass destroys me. Should have just named Spyglass. You just let me know if you're up for round two. And again, I have I have two Kaya's Wrath. This is kinda like last game when I had like the two Elder Spells and the two. And the two Noxious Grass, both of them just kind of being dead cards. This is very reminiscent of last game. I'll protect you. Trust me, I have a plan.
Thanks, Kitty Dexterity. Oh yeah, that card's in my deck. Three lands in there. I couldn't dispark instant speed because of Teferi. I can dispark now and I don't take three. I guess I have to. I mean, I'd, you have to spend one mana to activate Wish Claw, so I, I don't have the ability to grab a three, and I don't, I can't play a three drop as well. Let's try this. Why would they not bounce Wish Claw Talisman back to my hand and make me spend the mana on it again? Yeah, Talisman works well with Ashiok. I don't I don't have any way out of this. Like Kaya's Wrath I die. Because of the Cavalier's trigger. I have to find out I have to get Ashiok first. I needed a land here. I mean, I guess you're just like thought erasure. I can no longer stand by. No, I am not making this up as I go. The thing is, I'm like, this is still dead. I mean, I'm still dead. Because they would just wish claw for another, for a Kenrith. 
Like giving them the wish claw just kills me. Like even if they didn't have the Kenrith in hand, they could just go grab an, a new Cavalier or Kenrith. All right, so super. We just had really, really awkward draws. Both of those losses, those post board games. I named a card with Unmoored Ego that they had zero of in my in the deck, so just completely discarded a card, and then and then we were just sitting there with cards that didn't do anything the whole time. Um, not being able to kill Prison Realm and Sorcerer Spyglass was a huge downfall, and not having card advantage with a card like Chemist's Insight, we didn't we just didn't have card draw. And that was a huge downfall. So the, those are the so that's that's where our deck failed in those matchups. Were was not having card draw, not having ways to kill sorceress by glass or prison realm, and then also unmoored ego being very bad. And then just just our you know like the decks, as you can tell, I just have like tons and tons of black removal and interaction there. And if your opponent's not really doing anything, if they're just you know, casting chemistry's insights and hitting land drops and holding up counter spells, those can just be a whole lot of wasted cards in your hand that, that just sit around and, and wait until it's too late and you die. And that's what happened with those games there. Um so yeah, the Kaya The Kaya was not good. But you know, I want to try you know like that's that's the whole point like our decks aren't perfect. Like this is not this is not the best Esper control deck you can build. But you know, like we're we're building an Akaya combo deck, and that's the thing about some of our Tuesday Bruce Day decks. They're they're not as like this is not um, optimal. Yeah, it's not optimal to be playing like these Kayas and stuff. Good things that Kaya can do right now. There are some really valuable permanents that have cmc1 right now to exile there's witch's oven and edgewall from edgewall innkeeper and gilded goose those are all like really good cards that cost one mana to exile but against other control decks and basically against any decks that aren't playing anything with cmc1 it really doesn't do anything except for combo with you know you play it elder spell after you already exiled a bunch of cards with ashiok and try to win the game that way but yeah overall to, to make the deck better um i think i liked the i think i liked the talisman but to make the deck better would be get, getting rid of kaya i think i needed a fourth in our set but i you know just like regular like blue control it needs chemistry's insights it needs card draw and then and then yeah i guess um, Unmoored Ego looked horrible. Um, but ways to kill Prison Realm. I guess Prison Realm's a very popular removal spell right now. Um, and Dispark doesn't do it, so kind of need, like, Mortify. But then Spyglass also. I don't know if there's, there's stuff that's, like, better than Disenchant that gets rid of those, for these colors. Um, obviously you can play, like, Planar Cleansing or something like that. But that's more expensive. Um, but that's that's uh, everything I got here for Esper Kaya combo. Ashiok was very good. I think Ashiok's honestly Ashiok's just an underrated win condition in Esper control. We've played some Esper mill decks here on the the channel before, where uh, we've had um, uh, no Elks don't. Yeah, elks don't change the CMC. Kaya doesn't just get rid of creatures that are elked, um, unless it's like food that's elked, because that the food is still CMC zero. Like elking doesn't change the CMC. You can exile food with with Kaya, yes, but that's not that's not really how you beat the food decks by just having a three mana planeswalker exile some food. Uh, Brazen Borrower, yeah, that's a good one that can just bounce a permanent and everything. Yeah, playing playing Brazen Borrower with counter magic. And even Thought Erasure and stuff, that's that's definitely a good card for sure. Um, 
were we were good against we were good against aggro. That's that's really where our, our deck our deck was pretty good against aggro. I I think Edge to the God Eternals is just too expensive and slow for a deck like this. I, I wouldn't play Edge to the God Eternals unless you have like a, a better use for like the amass token and stuff. But that's it's just um, it's not a card that I would want in an Esper control deck. I, I wouldn't have it in a deck. Um. Anyway, there there we go. Um. Oh yeah, I was saying. So yeah, we've we've played a couple of Esper Mill decks on the channel. Um, you know, week week and a half, two weeks ago or so, uh, that had like Ashiok as just a win condition and Esper control, and and I liked it quite a bit. So I do think you can just play uh, regular old Esper control with um, with Ashiok as a a way to win the game because that's what that's what Esper is really missing is just a way to win the game after they stabilize. Uh, that's what Teferi Hero Dominaria did that. You know, it stabilized by getting you card after card after card and everything like that. But since Teferi left the format, that's what Esper has really struggled with. And, and I actually like Ashiok. Okay. Um, all right, so that's that's it here for um, Esper Kaya. All right, if you're watching it over on YouTube, please hit that like button over there and also leave some comments. I'd appreciate both of those. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.